Science is discovery. Science is asking questions. Science is curiosity. There's so many questions in the world that we come across every day. And figuring out what is it that makes things fit together the way they do? How can I predict what's going to happen? It allows us to advance and gain a better understanding of the world around us. We always want to know what's beyond what we know. We've always been interested in exploring the unknown, and I think that human beings are curious. I think a misconception is, is that science is a, a collection of facts um, and truths, and actually science is just the process of trying to understand truths. The highest, highest achievement of a human beings can have is try to understand the world. I think it takes sort of a fundamental belief that the world is amazing and interesting and that you want to A, understand it and B, uh, improve it. People are doing science in various ways for as long as there have been people. Anytime you're looking up and uh, you're noting the color of the sky, you're basically doing science. Science is everywhere. Science is in the morning, at night, when you wake up, when you go to sleep. When most people think of science, they think of a lab but science is all around us, and so the world's kind of our laboratory. Why do I do what I do? Because I want to understand. I don't know a single human who doesn't ask questions, and that curiosity that drives us forward. Very often, we're driven by utilities. We want to gain something to do things, but curiosity is like we just do something, try to understand unknowns without a clear promise of reward. I was lucky to start in the beginning of the space age when we didn't know anything about the regions outside Earth's atmosphere. We ask what if, that's how we start all of the research I do in my lab. What if we could see molecules everywhere, just like we see a chair or a table? What if a machine can talk to humans, like would we talk to each other? How does the auditory system achieve the extreme sensitivity that it does? What if we could use sediments from our past to predict future climate? What kinds of properties can geometric objects have? How does this work? Every time you perform an experiment as a scientist, you have this excitement about the outcome. Most of the time, you have no real clue what the outcome will be, and that is true exploration. I like it because there are really, really challenging problems involved, some problems that aren't even really solvable. It can be frustrating sometimes, experiments fail. The thrill of discovery has sort of a very close cousin, and that is confusion. Much of it is confusion in the sense that you don't know what to make of the result you just measured. It, it doesn't fit your a priori assumption. You don't have another explanation, and you're just looking at it in confusion. I love the unknown. It's like putting back together a puzzle. And then everything clicks. Somehow, unrelated, that idea just push it out from nowhere to your brain. It's a wonderful feeling, and it kind of sustains you through the later periods of being confused again. Those moments, those moments does not belong to you, belongs to humanity. One of the things that is really inspirational is seeing others make those discoveries as well. As a faculty member, it's the additional fact is I want the same thing for the graduate students in my lab, right? I want them to be the best. I want them to make the biggest discoveries. I want them to go off and change the world. There's always a sense that one can do more, and that one should do more, and that one must do more. Not just for the sake of discovery, but because we depend on the type of progress that we need in certain areas. Earth is a living system, and each of its parts needs to be working properly for Earth to function. Right now, we're in this place in science where there's just so many amazing discoveries that are going to happen over the next couple decades. The entire world's changing so quickly that it's, it's really exciting. I think we still have a whole lot more to understand and then to make people's life better. I enjoy what I'm doing. <laughs> I just want to make my little corner of the world a, a better space. We are the pioneers. We are the explorers. We are the doers. We are UCLA Physical Sciences. Come join us. Come join us. Come join us.